Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Emerson Performance Center on the beautiful campus of Harrisville State University. This is A.D. Grimes, your voice of Harrisville Athletics for this non-conference matchup as the Webster University Gorlocks travel down the road to Harrisville State University. 
your starters. First for the Gorlocks, Jason Coleman, Jamar Sykes, Wynn Brown, Josh Luster, and Carl Moore Jr. For the Hornets, Obrey Rufus, Alex Nunnally, Antoine Campbell, Ken Martin, and Patrick Evans. Number 12, Wynn Brown shoots and he scores. And the Gorlocks are on the board first. Rufus brings the ball down. And the rest will confer. They called backcourt, but I think it was definitely tapped. It'll stay with the Hornets. The, refs, the ref has reversed his call. It is still thank your SIDs week, so great job and all the stuff that you do. LaMonica Scott, our sports information director. It's a Monday night here at the EPC, the Hornets Fresh off a loss on Saturday, a tough loss to Hannibal LaGrange University. Nunnally down low. Shot off the mark. Antoine Campbell knocks the ball loose, but the Gorlocks recover. Brown gets it around. Inside, and Cam Martin knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with the, oh, correction. It'll be Harris throw basketball. I saw it knock off the hands of Cam Martin, but apparently the ref didn't. So, hey, it's okay. Hornets basketball. Campbell drives the lane. A little collision, but gets it, and he recovers, gets it out to Rufus. Rufus over to Evans. Evans stops his shot. Is good. And he'll go to the line for the three-point play. <laughs> Fouls on number 23, Josh Luster. His first team first. <laughs> and he knocks it down. Coleman bringing the ball down. He's guarded by Martin. Coleman drives the lane. He stops and shoots, and it's good. I don't know much about the Webster University Gorlock program. This is my first time seeing them uh, in my three seasons here at Harris State University. I'm glad we can get a nice little rivalry from a team right here in the St. Louis area. Number three, Coleman drives. And he's fouled by Patrick Evans. That'll be his first team first. Number three, Coleman will go to the line to shoot two. And he knocks down the first. And Coleman knocks both of them down. Not only gets it over to Campbell, Campbell to, around the Rufus. The Gorlock stand at eight and eight with a six and zero conference record. And they are members of the St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. And we have a foul on the play. Mm -hmm. 
Corday Brown is getting ready to check in for the Hornets. Brown, the freshman from Jeff City, will come in and Obrey Rufus will have a seat. Brown brings the ball down. He's guarded by Wynn Brown. Brown, a senior from Memphis, Tennessee. Evans drives. He stops and pops. It's off the mark. Rebound by Nunnally. Nunnally drives. Couldn't get it off the board. Josh Luster. Lost control of the ball, but he gets it to his offense, and Brown will set it up. Over to Moore. Moore sets the screen. Brown shoots the three. Off the mark. Rebound, Evans. Evans looks inside to Campbell. And it'll be off of the hands of Patrick Evans. Gorlock's basketball. And we'll have a timeout. 30 second timeout. We'd like to mention that all Harris State University athletes who come here and they play a sport will get their own official NIL partnership with Open Doors. From the words of our athletic director, Mr. William Carey, when the NAIA National Office announced that their first of its kind partnership with Open Doors in January, our staff immediately began researching the organization to determine if a partnership uh, specifically for our institution would be a benefit to our student athletes. Ultimately, with all that Open Doors offers, this was an easy decision to make. The Hornets come into today's contest five and ten overall, four and five in conference. The crowd is building here at the Emerson Performance Center as students are coming in and walking over from the dorms. Coleman gets it to number 23, Josh Luster, and that'll be a shot clock violation. We have all of our entertainment here for you tonight. The Harris Stowe State University cheerleaders, coached by Miss Rashandra Burnett, and our Harris Stowe State University honeycombs, coached by Miss Franchelle Little. Corday Brown gets it over Nunnally. Nunnally drives off the backboard. Give them two. Win bringing the ball. Win Brown bringing the ball down. He's guarded by Brown. Luster to Moore, and the Gorlocks throw it away. I thought that would have been a backcourt violation. I didn't think Campbell saw it. We don't have the shot clock is somehow off the mark. The shot clock has reset multiple times and the three-pointer by Jamar Sykes is good the Hornets are down 9-5 Hammond bringing the ball down Brown drives he kicks it out to Hammond who shoots the three off the mark but Patrick Evans is right there to put it back And Evans has five so far. Luster over to Coleman. Coleman drives the lane. He throws it across to Josh Luster. He shoots the three. And it's over the backboard. 
checking into the game for the Hornets. Joel Davis, Breon Mosby, and Nick, Nick Davis. For the Gorlocks is number one, Javon Nugent. Number 10, Alpha Diallo. And number 20, Stephen Hawkins. Brown bringing the ball down. He'll be guarded by De Sykes. Inside to Davis. Joel Davis drives underneath the basket for the reverse layup. And we're tied at 9. 13-25 remaining in the first half. Diallo kicks it out to Brown. Brown shoots the short range jumper and it's good. Brown, he has it knocked away. Number 20, Stephen Hawkins will go all the way and score. Hammond bringing the ball down. The Gorlocks look like they're in a 1-3-1 one, one. defense. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Joel Davis. His first team third. Hawkins gets it down to Nugent. Nugent drives the lane. Took a couple extra steps, but he got away with it. Brown thought about the three. He pulls up and shoots it. It's off the mark. Rebound Davis. Joel Davis, to be exact, as we have both Nick and Joel Davis on the floor. Corday Brown, top of the key. He's guarded by Sykes. Hammond inside to Mosby. Mosby, good move, and he'll score. <laughs> Alpha Diallo. They kick it outside to Hawkins. Hawkins for, Hawkins for three is good. The Hornets and the Gorlocks trading baskets. And it seems like the Gorlocks have brought a nice crowd down from 44 and Elm. Corday Brown kicks it out. Joe Davis for three. It's off the mark. Rebound by Hammond. We got a volleyball game going. A lot of tipping the ball in the air. And number one, Nugent comes down with it. Nugent over to Hawkins. Hawkins shoots the three. It's off the back iron. When Brown thought about it. They swing it around. Diallo over in the corner. Ten on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. Wow, a wide open Jamar Sykes underneath the basket. And he scores. 10-20 remaining in the first half. This crowd is evenly split between the Webster University Gorlocks and Harris State University Hornets. Breon Mosby with the jumper. For those watching, it's probably about a good 15 or 20 minute ride between the two campuses. Like, I've been here three years. This is the first time I've seen us play Webster, so I hope this can become an annual rivalry. Inside Brown. It's off the mark. Rebound by Diallo. And Corday Brown steals it. He finds Hammond, and Hammond has it. Hammond has it intercepted. 
And it looks like we have a foul on the play. Fouls on number 15. Fouls on number 15, Breon Mosby, his first team fourth. Checking in for the Gorlocks is number 14, Mark Moore. And Coleman checks back in along with Carl Moore. For the Hornets, Evans, Campbell, and Nunnally check back in. Moore is off the mark. Mark Moore. Evans for three. And it's good. Patrick Evans, in the words of one of my favorite video games as a child, he's on fire. Mark Moore gets it around. Hawkins, top of the key, shoots up. And it hits the top of the board, and he's going to be Hornets basketball. Evans has eight so far. Hornets down two, 840 remaining in the first half. Nunnally. Shot off the mark, Diallo on the rebound. The Gorlocks working it around the perimeter. Diallo cross court to Hawkins. And Coleman scores. They're trading baskets, and right now the Gorlocks are getting the better end of that stick. The Gorlocks are a NCAA Division III opponent, and the Hornets are a NAIA opponent. Well, NAIA team, sorry. Inside to Nunnally. Nunnally, and he's fouled. Fouls on number 24, Carl Moore. His first team second. The Hornets get the ball in the Hammond. Evans shoots the three. In and out. Mark Moore against Hammond. He has a lane. Rebound by Hammond. Rebound by Nunnally. Big rebound by Alex Nunnally. Hammond. He's guarded by Coleman. Evans stops and pops off the back iron. Luster gets it over to Moore. Moore pulls up the three, and that's seriously off the mark. Mark Moore steals it, and we're going to have a foul on Nick Davis. That'll be the Hornets' team, fifth team foul. Davis will have a seat. Ken Martin will check back in. And number 11, Jamar Sykes is back in the game for Webster. Diallo will have a seat. Martin knocks it out of bounds. Again, it'll be Hornets basketball. Maybe I, my glasses need to be checked. The ref clearly has. 2020 vision and I'm blind. <laughs> Campbell over to Hammond. 
Back to Campbell down to, down to Evans. Evans drives the lane. The short jumper is good. That's 10 for Patrick Evans. Win Brown. Win Brown drives the lane. He's fouled by Hammond. That's his first. Team sixth. Next shot. The Warlocks will be in the bonus for the rest of the first half. Inside to Moore. Coleman shoots. And it's no good. Up to Campbell. Campbell off the backboard. Timeout. Harris Stowe. We're tied at 25 49 remaining in the first half. We'd like to take a quick break with our sponsors, Conley Financial Group. back here at the Emerson Performance Center. Our cheerleaders, our honeycombs, they're all in the house tonight for tonight's matchup with Webster University. 549 remaining in the first half. Tied at 20. Jamar Sykes brings the ball down for the Gorlocks. I'm not sure what a Gorlock is. Probably in the same family with the Billikens. Still don't know what those are. Hammond picks up the loose ball. Down to Campbell. He finds Nunnally in the lane. And Nunnally is blocked by Carl Moore. And we'll go and Nunnally will go to the line. Nunnally will go to the line to shoot two. Carl Moore, a local product here from St. Louis, Missouri, Jennings High School. Nunnally misses the front end of the free throw. O'Bray Rufus will check in for Jamar Hammond. Number 15, Nate Jones. And number one, Javon Nugent will check in for the Gorlocks. And Nunnally gives the Hornets their first lead of the night. Jamai Sykes brings the ball down. He's guarded by Evans. Over to Jones. Wynn Brown, top. He's on the wing. He's guarded by Evans. Jones drives. And he'll score. <laughs> O'Bray Rufus loses the ball. And it'll be Gorlock's basketball. 440 remaining.
the scoring woes kind of continue for certain Hornets players. Coleman drives the lane, shot off the mark, rebound by Nunnally, and the Hornets will push it up the court. Nunnally top of the key. Inside to Martin, the pass is off the foot of a player, and it'll be a turnover. Brown all the way, and it's blocked by Campbell. The Gorlocks recover. Number 11, Sykes from three, it's no good. Rebound Nugent. And it's tipped in by Sykes. And the Gorlocks are up three. Campbell thought about it. He drives the lane. And it's short. Nate Jones with the rebound. And Coleman scores. The Gorlocks are on a 5-0 run. Question, correction, a 6-0 run. Ken Martin for three. It's off the mark. Rebound. Nunnally. But he can't hold on to it. Timeout. There was not a timeout. Oh, correction. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout by the Hornets. We'll take a quick break. Brought to you by Gateway Metro Federal Credit Union. Thank you for your support of Harris State University Athletics. Our cheerleaders and honey comes in the house. 303 remaining in the first half. Horn is down five. Trying to put a stop to a 6-0 run by the Gorlocks. It's moments like these I wish the comments were turned on so somebody could tell me what a Gorlock is. Oh. Correction, we looked it up. It's a mythical creature designed in part by Webster students. So they made it up. Interesting. Nate Jones, offensive foul. Corday Brown will take the foul. That's Jones first, team fourth. Here five on the court for the Hornets. Nunnally, Campbell, Evans, Corday Brown, and Cam Martin. Here five for the Gorlocks. Coleman, Brown, Sykes, Nugent, and Jones. And they're gonna call a blocking foul on Nate Jones. That's his second. Team fifth. Chris Bunch, uh, the coach for Western University, not happy with the call. It's his 21st season at Webster. I take it that's pretty successful. Evans gets the inbounds, stops, pops, it's good. Patrick Evans having a game so far, and he has 12. Jones, guarded by Evans, he spins off the mark. Rebound by Campbell. Hornets pushing it up. Evans drives the lane. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Team 
Foul on number 15, Nate Jones. That's a quick three for him. Evans going to the line to shoot two. He's off the mark on the first. Checking in for the Gorlocks is number 10, Alpha Diallo. Diallo is a 6'3 sophomore from Atlanta, Georgia. Not sure how he found Webster University in St. Louis, Missouri, but hey. Evans knocks down the second. Two-point game here, 130 remaining on the clock. Sykes over to Diallo. Down to Nugent. Took a couple extra steps there. And I'm not going to tell anybody. Rebound by Nunnally. He gets it over to Evans. Just over a minute remaining. Evans pulls back. And it was partially blocked by Sykes. The Gorlocks. And when Brown will score, we're under a minute. At half, we'll have some quick stats and then our break as we get prepared for second half action. 15 on the shot clock. It's about an 18 second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Nunnally. Can't convert the basket. Coleman with the reverse layup and he'll score. The Hornets find themselves down six. 10 seconds. Patrick Evans has the ball in his hands. He's the hot person. He pulls back and shoots the three. Off the back iron. That's our first half. The Hornets down six. Your leaders first for the Gorlocks. Coleman has 10. Sykes has seven. Brown has six. In foul trouble, you have Carl Moore with two and Nate Jones with three. For the Hornets, Patrick Evans has 13. Mosby has four. And Alex Nunnally has three. Team comparisons. From the, from the field, the Hornets are shooting 30, 39%. The Gorlocks are shooting 39% from three-point. The Hornets are shooting 20%. From the free throw, the Hornets are shooting 60%, while the Gorlocks are two for two. We'll take a quick break, enjoy our sponsors, and we'll be back in approximately 15 minutes.
Welcome back to the Emerson Performance Center on the beautiful campus of Harris State University. It's A.D. Grimes, your voice of Harris State Athletics. Tonight's action, we are hosting the Webster University Gorlocks. We find ourselves down six as the second half begins. There are five on the court. For the Hornets, Evans, Nunnally, Rufus, Campbell, and Martin. For the Gorlocks, Moore, Brown, Sykes, Coleman, and Lusher, Luster, excuse me. Patrick Evans had a little bit of a happy feet there and took too many steps. Traveling violation. Sykes over to Moore. Brown thought about it till he saw the brick wall. That is Nunnally. Coleman kicks it out to Luster. Shoots the three in and out. Rebound by Moore. It's no good. Nunnally with the athletic pass. And Cam Martin will bring it up the court. Evans, Evans scores. That's 15 for him so far. Definitely the source of the Hornets activity today. Luster, he's guarded by Campbell. Drives, kicks it over to Moore. Good ball movement by the Gorlocks as number 11 Sykes scores. Rufus over to Campbell, back to Evans. Campbell, the floater is short. Sykes pushing up the court. He gets it over to Coleman, blocked by Evans. Rufus drives the lane to Nunnally, and he scores. That's five for Nunnally today. And Sykes couldn't convert the easy shot. Campbell. And they're gonna call an offensive foul on Antoine Campbell. That's his first, team first. Hammond and Mosby will check in. Martin and Nunnally will have a seat. Sykes. Good pass by Sykes to win Brown. Luster shoots the three, and it's good. And the Gorlocks have their biggest lead of the game so far. Evans for three. Rebound by Sykes. The Gorlocks have numbers. And the tip-in will go to Sykes. Inside to Mosby. Out to Rufus. Rufus to Hammond. Hammond for three. It's off the mark. Brown picks up the loose ball. And he'll set up the offense. He gets it over to Sykes. Sykes drives the lane. Moore 
Shot is no good. Rebound by Mosby. Jump ball. It'll be Hornets basketball. Checking in for the Hornets is Joel Davis and Nick Davis. Campbell and Evans will have a seat. Hornets down nine. Hammond wide open for three. Too long. Sykes. Coleman to Moore and one for Carl Moore. Fouls on number zero, Obrey Rufus. His second. The scoring drop for the Hornets is setting in. They definitely don't want this to get away from them. Hammond throws it away. To Moore, and he'll score. Corday Brown is getting ready to check in for the Hornets. Davis has a strip by Moore. And Davis steals it back. Cordae Brown checks in. Javon Nugent checking back in. Carl Moore will have a seat. Sykes will also have, have a seat as Alpha Diallo checks in. Rufus over to Davis. Davis drives. Couldn't get the soft shot to go in. Nugent for that's an air ball. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say something, but I think his facial expression did enough. Stephen Hawkins will check in for Josh Lester. I'm surprised the Hive did not let him have it for that air ball. Typically, they uh, won't let you get past it. Inside to Davis, good ball movement, and Mosby's shot is no good. The Hornets are definitely having offensive struggles. Alpha Diallo shot is off the mark. Rebound by Nick Davis. Davis. Inside to Nick Davis. Nick Davis in and out. And Mosby couldn't hold on to the rebound. Win Brown. Hawkins shoots the three. That one is. Woo. You give me five more of those and I'll build my own arch. <laughs> Corday Brown drives the lane, blocked by Nugent, gets it back, kicks it out to Rufus. Cross court to Davis, short jumper, too long. Joel Davis has the ball. He grows to the lane and he'll score. Timeout, Webster.
Horn is down 11, full timeout. We'll take a quick commercial break, brought to you by our sponsor, Alpha One Greek. Get your best of D9 paraphernalia at Alpha One. Our Harris Stowe State University cheerleaders and Harris Stowe State University honeycombs providing entertainment here at the Emerson Performance Center. Hornets down 11, Gorlock basketball 12.53 remaining in the second half. This non-conference matchup features the NCAA Division III Webster University Gorlocks out of the SLIAC, the St. Louis Intercollegiate Athletic Association, the Paris State University, members of the American Midwest Conference of NAI, and Javon Nugent turns it over. Hornets bringing the ball down. They have to cut into this lead. They found themselves down six at half but have struggled this half in scoring. Inside to Davis. Davis spins off the backboard. It's no good. Wynn Brown bringing it up. And he'll set up the Gorlocks offense. Gets it to Coleman. Coleman works his way through the lane and he'll score. Corday Brown to Davis and it's short and he has it taken away by Javon Nugent. Gets it up to Coleman. Diallo shoots the three, and it's good. And Patrick Evans saves the Hornets turn over there. Rufus drives the lane and he's fouled. Nugent will pick up a foul. That's his first. Campbell going to the line, or excuse me, Obrey Roof is going to the line. And he knocks it down. Nick Davis will check in as Obrey Roof comes out. D9 
Diallo over to Sykes to Mark Moore. Mark Moore finds Sykes for three. Off the back end, rebound by Campbell. Brown brings it up. He gets it to Evans. Evans has it stripped out of his hands. It'll stay here with the Hornets. 22 on the shot clock. Hornets down 15. 10, 18 remaining in the contest. Evans pulls up, it's off the mark. Nick Davis can't hold on to the ball. It'll be out of bounds to Webster. Mark Moore in and out, rebound by Davis. Nunnally has it partially blocked by Moore. A good ball movement by the Gorlocks and the bucket by Moore. And Nunnally will pick up a foul. Looked like a clean block to me. That'll be his second personal. Carl Moore going to the line to shoot two. Into the game for the Hornets is Ken Martin, and for the Gorlocks is number 23, Josh Luster. <laughs> 840 remaining in the contest. The Gorlocks have opened quite a big lead here. Patrick Evans into Nunnally. And he traveled. Mosby will check in for Nunnally. Diallo, cross court to Luster, who shoots the three. Rebound by Moore, it's no good. And he gets his own rebound and puts it back. Corday Brown travel, goes through the lane, but no basket. Yeah. 
Luster drives. And they're going to call a foul. And we're going the other way. Fouls on number 24, Carl Moore Jr. That's his third. You're a five on the court for the Hornets. Campbell, Mosby, Evans, Hammond, and Martin. And Breon Mosby gets on the board. Brown on the perimeter, gets it over to Sykes. Back to Brown, he stops and shoots short. Ken Martin bringing the ball down. Martin is scoreless today. Inside to Campbell, it's no good. Paul Moore shot is short. He gets it to a wide open Sykes who kicks it back to Gwen Brown. And the shot is good. It's a two pointer. Cam Martin down to Mosby who literally was moving in the air from the body contact from Carl Moore, but no call. Five forty remaining. Wynn Brown shoots, and that's another basket for him. He has 10. Antoine Campbell will score for the Hornets. He has four today. Timeout, Webster. Full timeout. This break is brought to you by Missouri Immunizations. Make sure you get your vaccine. We're back here live at the Emerson Performance Center. 514 remaining. Hornets down 18. Hornets next will be in action this Saturday as they host the Lion College Scots. Tip off at 1 p.m. for the for the women and 3 p.m. for the men. The score should be 58 
to 35. Four thirty remaining. Brown kicks it out to Luster, who shoots the three, and it's good. Hammond's shot is good. And Diallo gets it to Luster, who shoots the three again. And a pure push off by Nugent, right in front of the ref, not called. Ten on the shot clock. And Mosby can't hold on to the rebound. Nunnally and Nick Davis will check in. Cam Martin will have a seat. Checking in for the Gorlocks is number 21, Hunter Cole. Three ten remaining. Brown kicks it out to Hunter Cole for three. It's off the mark. Hammond bringing the ball up the court. He's going coast to coast. And it looks like Nate Jones will pick up number four. That's his fourth foul. His 14th third. Hammond will go to the line to shoot two. Exactly three minutes remaining in the contest. Checking in for the Gorlocks is number four, Jalen Davis. Davis, a St. Louis native graduate of Bishop DeBerg High School. <laughs> Offensive rebound by Evans. Inside to Nunley, and he's fouled. Fouls on number 21, Hunter Cole, his first. <laughs> Evans off the mark, rebound by Diallo. Cole bringing it up. Back to Cole. Lost control of his body. His body's flying everywhere. Hammond underneath the basket. Good pass by Nick Davis. Timeout. Coach Cook and the Hornets. 30-second timeout. Hornets down 22. 232 remaining in the contest. Again, this Saturday. Oh, correction, full timeout. So this Saturday at 3 p.m., the Hornets will host the Lion College Scots. We'll be right back after this word from the Connolly Financial Group.
Gorlock's basketball. Full court defense in by the Hornets. Down to Jones. They kick it out to Hunter Cole. The Gorlocks are moving the ball around. The Hornets trying to pressure the Gorlocks into a turnover. Five on the shot clock. And Jason Coleman scores. Jalen Davis knocks it out of bounds. Nate Jones will have a seat as Zion Henderson checks in. And number 31, Alan Gravik checks in along with Mark Moore. We're under two minutes remaining. Patrick Evans' three-pointer is short. Jalen Davis shoots the three, and it's good. Mark Moore steals it, gets it to Davis, to Hunter Cole. His three is off the mark. Hammond with the rebound. Hammond drives the lane and scores. Stolen by Campbell. And Mark Moore will pick up the foul. That's his first. Checking into the game for the Hornets is number 23, Valdi Zeffin. The 6'9 forward, a freshman from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Out on the floor, let's see what he can do. 49 seconds remaining in the game. This Saturday, the Hornets will host Lion College in a AMC matchup. Jalen Davis tried to get a little flashy. Nick Davis's pass was almost intercepted by number 31, Alan Gravik. 36 seconds on the clock. Nunnally and one for Alex Nunnally. He'll go to the line. Fouls on number 35, Zion Henderson. His first. And Nunnally knocks it down. Checking into the game for the Warlocks is number two, Tyler Rayson. Nunnally's shot is no good. And we have a player down on the court. Patrick Evans, Patrick Evans is grimacing, grabbing his right knee. We hope that he's okay. He'll limp off the court. 
Joel Davis will check in. Nunnally shoots a three. Davis with the rebound. And we've got jump ball and it'll go to the Gorlocks. Five seconds on the clock. And this one is just about over. And there's the clock. Your stats for the game. The Gorlock shot 42% from the floor. The Hornets shot 35%. From three, the Gorlock shot 26% and the Hornets shot 11%. From free throw, the Gorlock shot 80%. The Hornets shot 60%. Your leading scores. First for the Gorlocks, Jason Coleman had 14. Wynn Brown had 12. Jamal Sykes had 11 and Carl Moore had 11. For the Hornets, Patrick Evans had 15. Nunnally had eight, Hammond had seven, and Breon Mosby had six. This Saturday, 3 p.m. tip-off for men's action against the Lion College Scots, our production team, our technical director, Vidal, our camera operator, CJ, Xavier on camera. I, we'd like to thank the ITV Network for their production. On behalf of our president, Dr. Latanya Collins-Smith, our director of athletics, Mr. William Carey, our sports information director, LaMonica Scott. I am A.D. Grimes, your voice of Harris Stowe Athletics, signing off. See you Saturday, 1 p.m. here at the Emerson Performance Center. Have a great week.